Hey guys, this is Blake from Blank Sanctum Retro Site for Retro Games. Welcome to another episode in my video series of rarely seen Starflight fan remakes, spin offs, and sequels. Doing this series as a part of a big update to my Starflight gaming website that tributes all the awesome fan projects out there. This is my video tour of Starflight Alternate Universe. If you were involved in this old project, and have any cool materials that you'd like to share with the fan community, please contact me here on this video or on the Starflight 3 Facebook page, which I run and I'll put a link to in my description. Starflight Alternate Universe is a, is a, a remake, one of the remakes, attempted remakes, of um, the original Starflight 1 game for PC. And uh, from the looks of things, it, you know, like most of the projects, it didn't get that far. It, uh, they've sort of done a rudimentary starbase, a bit of a, ne a space navigation stuff, um, and that, that was about it. And uh, judging by their website, which amazingly still exists even now, it, uh, it, it just died out. There doesn't appear to be any posts about, sorry, I'm going to have to terminate this project or anything like that. It's just... The last news update just says, sorry, it's been a while and uh, uh, really busy at the moment and uh, we'll get back to it soon. And no, <laughs> I guess they never did. And uh, there's no um, uh, source uh, code or anything like that up for uh, um, download. There's just a little navigation demo, which I'm going to show you here, guys. So let's get going. So uh, to control it, you've got to left and right and then you hit up to open a door. And space bar on the notices. 2002. As you can see, this is one of the older projects. Welcome to the Starflight AU demo starport. The only operational modules at this point are operations, ship configuration, and the docking bay. Uh, as you know by now, you can access the modules by moving the arrow over the doors and pressing the up arrow. Yeah, we figured that out. Uh, components can be purchased at greatly reduced prices for a limited time in the ship configuration. Uh, go to docking bay, last door to board the ship. There still isn't much you can do in the ship except for maneuvering around the star system and orbiting the planets. Use the numeral keypad, uh, turn the unlock off, yep, yep, yep. Uh, plus and minus keys to zoom in and out on the ship while maneuvering. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Uh, let's have a look. We have not filled any evaluation. Uh, colony walls for evaluation. Exit. So presumably, not much is going to work here. Yep, nothing happens. And personnel, nothing will happen. Trade Depot, nothing sh will happen. Ship configuration. Ooh, look at this. So, what can we do here? Uh, so we can buy cargo pods. Oh, yep, look, they're appearing on the ship in the top right corner. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Um, engines. So we got class one. So de equip first. Uh, I guess that means sell. So sell. Now we've got none. Yep. Buy. What can you give me? Class five. Laser cannon. Class five. Missile launcher. Oops. Class 5. Notice the model isn't changing for any of this stuff. Terrain vehicle. Terrain vehicle are not yet available. <laughs> Repair name. Do what I always did as a kid when I played Starflight. Enterprise. Not Enterprise. <laughs> Enterprise. There we go. That works. All right, let's get out of here. Security. Yeah, nothing happens there. I don't know what's meant to mean there. I don't remember a security door in the old one, but maybe my memory's failing me. Um, docking bay. All right, let's roll. Okay, looks like we're out in space. There was uh, no launch sequence implemented. Uh, we're already in space. Yep. Can't disembark in space. 
Uh, Alright, so, I presume we need to go to Navigator and Maneuver. Aha! Now, something interesting I've noticed, because I've done a couple of test runs, is that the system is randomly generated, because it's got different planets in it every time I've played the game. It changes. So, uh, I've got Numlock off, so, yep, that's behaving. Whoa, that's quick. That is very quick, isn't it? You can sp uh, press spacebar to enter orbit. Ooh, nice. Look at that. That's kind of cute. Pink, uh, pinkish planet. Is that moving at all? Because I notice there is a clock moving in this game. There is a passage of time. But, uh, no, that's not moving. I thought it might actually have like a day-night cycle thing implemented in the view, which would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? But, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, let's have a look at the star map. Not yet equipped with a star map. Can we raise our level 5 shields? Raising shields. Weapons not necessary. No enemy present. Let's have a look at this planet. Sensors. Hmm. <laughs> I guess that's where the map's meant to appear. Analysis. It appears to be a blue screen of <laughs> sun. Very funny. Uh, status, that puts that back. How the ship's going on. You can see the passage of time there. Uh, culture. Can't tell from here. <laughs> uh, examine. There are no artifacts in cargo. Alright. So it looks like basically none of that's working. Um, can we do anything here? No damage. We don't have enough power. We need more power, Captain. Accessory. No artifacts in cargo. Fuel system. We have no fuel. Jump pod. We're not equipped with a jump pod. <laughs> oh yeah, I just realized they're funny crew. So we've got Captain Crackhead. Science Officer Bull Dude. Uh, Navigator Steve-O which I think is a nod to the, because it was created by a guy named Steve. Uh, Engineer Adam West. <laughs> it's Batman. Uh, Com Officer. Com Officer Lizzie. Hmm. I wonder if that's a tip of the hat to Rampage, which I had on the Sega Master System. Hail. There's nobody to hail. Distress. We're not in distress. Transponder. Transponder is off. Playback. Not equipped with a tape recorder. Bridge. Well, there you go. So he's obviously just put little text responses for all the equipment that's not working. Uh, so we'll go back to maneuver. And, oh yeah, he said you could zoom in, didn't he? Uh, ooh. That's just sort of a clever zoom in on the wireframe model from looks of things. You can see stars through it, so it's definitely just a a wireframe model. Can you zoom out further? Oh yeah, you can, can't you? Look how tiny that gets. Uh, Alright. Uh, oh. oh, god, that's fast, isn't it? Space bar, enter orbit. So it's pretty much the same thing, just a different colour. So I think that's all you can really do, because you can't um, leave the system. Well, I couldn't in my test game. We'll try again. Yep, see, so it just sort of goes forever on the edge. Um, this way. No. Nah. You can't leave, sadly. So that's it for this demo. It was uh, out of, you know, all the demos I'm going to show you, this one certainly probably, I get, I think, probably has the least content. And, uh, you know, it's a shame that it uh, never got uh, further. It's, uh, I should point out, DOS-based as well. There doesn't appear to be any sound. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and uh, Stay tuned for uh, more videos in the series of other rare stuff like demo of remakes and spin-offs and sequels that you may not have seen before. Bye!
Thank <laughs> you.